All right, hello guys, uh, Scuzzy here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to uh, render videos for 720p HD on YouTube. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas to edit, and I use Fraps to record, and oftentimes I'll record Minecraft. However, this can be used to record uh, games like uh, I don't know Skyrim or TF2 or any other Steam games. So it's kind of up to you, but. Um, as I said, it will be for Sony Vegas. I imagine most of these settings are similar for iMovie or whatever else uh, people choose to edit with. And uh, I have Vegas Pro 11. I know that these settings are for the most part similar in uh, Pro 10 and 9. So we'll jump right into it here. I'll open up Fraps and show you what I use to record in this. Uh, when you have it open, you're going to want to go to Movies. Hmm, if it'll call, uh, there we go, movies. All right, now this is the tab that really matters. You're gonna see here video capture hotkey. I'd suggest uh, having it on something like page up or F9. Um, F9 is the default, but um, I'm on a laptop and I have to use this function key to hit F9 and it's just kind of a pain in the ass. So page up works perfectly. Uh, video capture setting, this is what really matters right here. Now you're gonna see here 29.97 is what I have it set up at. Uh, this is NTSC standard. Um, the reason I use 29.97 rather than 30 FPS is because I find that if um, sometimes you know it'll go one frame over 30 FPS and then YouTube, which has a max limit of 30 FPS, uh, has to like cut it down. It just makes your video look laggy and not as good quality. So I find that having it on 29.97 allows for some safe room in that. My computer is running slow. Hmm. Okay. But um. Yeah. So 29.97 what I suggest. Uh, 30 works too. Full size, you're going to want that selected. Uh, I'd lock the frame rate. Now this, uh, this, this sound stuff is kind of up to you. Record Windows 7 sound. This is going to record your in-game audio, like anything that you say if you're playing Minecraft, you destroy a block, it'll record that. Uh, whereas external input will record your microphone. You can see mine default is a blue snowball, which I'm using right now. So uh, you can choose this if you have an external microphone. If not, uh, I don't select it. <laughs> and you don't want any of these stuff selected down here. FPS tab, that's the next thing you want to check out here. This is your overlay. This is just going to tell you when you're recording and how many frames you're at. So uh, you can kind of choose whatever corner you want. I wouldn't suggest hiding it though. And that's it. Now this settings are for 3.2.2 of Fraps. I imagine for the most part this is similar in other versions of Fraps. But this is just the one I have. So um, that's my Fraps. I'm quickly going to record a clip in Minecraft. And I'll see if I can... Yeah. And I think uh, the newest update out. Now keep in mind, I'm recording my screen with Cam Studio right now. And Cam Studio is not, under any circumstances, um, designed to be used to like record Java games like Minecraft. So it's going to appear very, very laggy, probably. Um, keep in mind, for me, in the game, it will be running smooth. Alright, so you can see we're in the game now. Uh, we're at about 40, 40 to 50. Oh, now we're 60, 70. That's good. 80, almost. Um, we're at about 75 to 80 FPS just hovering. Now, this is very good. You want this to be as high as you possibly can. Um, this is just, you know, you're not recording. It's just kind of sitting in the game, and this is what your game's actually running at. So, um, high, the higher is better, as, as soon as you start recording, it will drop drastically. So, you can see I turned my uh, render distance to normal, and it's at about 50 now. Um, I'm just going to record with uh, short, as it will run much quicker, and I do have, uh, I'm recording with Cam Studio right now. So 50, 50, about 50 frames per second, and I'm going to hit record right here, and it should drop. You can see at, it says it's 30. Now, it's actually at 29.97 right now, and this this is the setting I set it to. Now, you want this to be uh, at your target frame rate. Uh, if it's anything lower or higher, you're having some problems, you're going to want to exit off background programs. But you can see it's at 30, not moving up or down, which is very good. Um, so I'll quickly end this clip right here. And we'll move over to uh, Sony Vegas to actually start editing. So we'll X all this down, and I'll open Vegas, and there we go. Okay, so Vegas is open. Pro 11 is what I'm using. Now, the first thing when you open up Vegas here, you're going to want to go to File, New. And uh, I choose the setting HDV 720 by 30 p 1280 by 720 29.97 frames per second. So we'll hit that. Uh, these are the settings you're going to want to choose here. I'll show you. You can also edit this while you're in the program, the uh, project. Sorry, you can see 1280 by 720p. This is 720p uh, HD. You're going to want your pixel aspect ratio to be one or square, and frame rate 29.97. 
This is the, as I said, NTSC. Now, if you did record in 30, which was up to you, um, you like you can just type 30 in here. But um, I, as I said, I use 29.97, which I would recommend. Uh, pixel format, 8-bit rendering, resolution quality. This is what you can choose, uh, depending on your computer. Now, I'm on a laptop. Now, this isn't any Alienware and cra crazy, insane gaming laptop, so you know it's not the best. Um, it is okay. It's six six megabytes or no, wait, six gigabytes of RAM, so it does move, you know, decently when it's rendering. Rendering will take a long time. For a 15-minute video, it's normal for it to be an hour or up. Um, if your computer's better, it will go, you know, it will take much less time. So, um, you know, depending on that, uh, if your computer's not as good, you can choose good. If it's, you know, if you're confident in its ability to render, choose best. Um, so that's this prod, uh, the settings you want right here. You can pause it, and I just name it something. So how about Scuzzy's settings? Yes. Okay. So then you hit save, and uh, yeah, and then okay. So we have that set now. You can also change this by hitting this button right here. It'll go back to that. You can change in the middle of the project, or you can hit Alt Enter, and it'll open the same thing. Okay. Now we're gonna want to import our clip. So I'll quickly find it on my hard drive here. Uh, it should be this one right here, and I'll I gotta wait for it to load, I guess. Hmm, pain in the ass. There we go. So I'll drag it in if I can, and you can see it drop down there. Now I'll quickly play it. Okay, so that's the clip right there, and I'm gonna trim it down a bit. Uh, this can be done by hitting S. It'll cut the clip. And uh, I'll cut it right in the middle here. Now, there's one thing you're going to want to do before you any farther, and uh, you're going to want to right-click your clip, hit Properties, uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio, and choose Disable Resample. Now, you're unchecking Maintain Aspect Ratio because um, your monitor may have a weird aspect ratio. The game might not open up in 1280 by 720. Um, my laptop has like 1366 by something. It's really weird. But um, by unchecking this, it's just going to fill out uh, your whole uh, you know render window thing, and to make sure that there's no black boxes around it. And disable resample. This is just going to make it so there's no like in between frames, which can make it look really weird. And uh, for a game like Minecraft, you definitely want that off. So that's what you want there. Uh, hit OK. Now this can also be done by right clicking other clips. Go to switches, and you can uncheck them here. But what I would recommend is uh, since you're going to have to go to properties for everyone and undo this. You can right click the one you've done, hit copy, and then go to other ones, right click them, and hit paste event attributes. And you can see this does this, and it's uh, much quicker than actually going through every, thing, every single one. So I'll quickly cut it there, and uh, that should be good. That's all I'm going to do for this. And it is, uh, it's in 1280 by 720 right now. And we're going to start rendering. So I'd recommend saving your project. I'll just name it Hello Test. Okay, go to File, Render As, and you can see here, uh, this is what it looks like for Pro 11. Now, I don't really like the window for Pro 11. Here, I'll exit off fraps. I'm getting some really weird things here. Okay, so I don't really, I don't really like the window for Pro 11. Oh, why are you no gone? Hmm. Okay, um, this is what it looks like here. Pro 9 has a different window. For the most part, it's going to be the same stuff. So uh, output file, you're going to want to choose the location you're going to save it to. Um, I'd just name it, name it hello test or something. Name it, name it whatever you're going to name your project and uh, hit save. Now this is just going to be what it, you know, it's going to output to. You can change the name here. All right, now you, this is uh, your actual templates that you're going to be using. Um, I always do WMV. This is just the setting I use, Windows Media Video 11. I've seen people use MP4. I've seen people use uh, AVI. It's really up to you. You know, trial and error. I myself find that uh, M WMV is the best. And uh, we'll quickly, I'll choose one here. We'll choose 6 megabytes HD 720 by 30p. And uh, this we're going to be doing some edits to it, so you can just choose that one. Hit customize template. You can see it opens up here. Uh, first tab doesn't matter. Second tab video. This is really what matters. You're gonna make sure it's on 1280 by 720. If you wanna do, to do 1080p, you can choose this one, or I'm sure you can just customize it. Pixel aspect ratio square, like in the uh, project video settings. Um, 29.97. If you're doing 30, change it there. Um, five seconds per keyframe. Three default 
compression buffer and video smoothness once again this is up to you if you're confident in your computer change it to you know 95 to 100 if you you know want to be a little quicker you can change it to about 90 or something I usually keep it around 95 96 whatever it goes to bit rate now this uh, this is this is gonna change it quite a bit um, for a game like Minecraft which isn't the best graphical you know graphic quality you can choose around like um, four, four, five, six, uh, maybe even three. Uh, for you know better games like Skyrim or something, you're gonna want a higher one. This is just gonna take more, you know, more time to actually render it. I usually keep it around six. It's a healthy medium. Uh, next tab you're gonna want to go to is Project. Now, um, video rendering quality. I chose best in my, uh, you know, the settings that I showed before this. So you can choose best here. I usually just hit Use Project Settings. Um, that'll just use whatever I chose in there. And we'll name a template here. We'll name it to YouTube 720p or something. Oh, 720p. Okay. And hit save. So to save the template, we'll hit OK here. Now what you're going to want to do is actually hit the star here if you're on Pro 11. And then hit show favorites. Now this is making sure that this is the only one that pops up. I find it just be easier. So that's the settings we're going to be using. Um, if you're rendering loop, little like parts of a Let's Play, choose a uh, render loop region only and just drag these yellow markers out for like 15 minute segments um, I'm, obviously I'm not doing that right now but I think that's all you really need to do you, you can choose this option here I don't really use it too often but uh, I've seen people who do use it and um, I don't know I know I'm not quite really sure what it does but I wouldn't use that but anyway so that's the uh, clip we will quickly hit render and I'll be back when it's done rendering all right, and as you can see, it's all done rendering 100%. Now I usually hit an open folder here. I'll close down um, Vegas, and this is the clip right here. And I'll quickly play it here. Uh, it probably won't look too good quality, but for me, it looks good. Looks good to me. And uh, I'll actually upload this clip to YouTube. I'll he leave a uh, annotation to the video just in case you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything for these settings. Uh, that's what I use to record in um, for Minecraft. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel, like the video, uh, leave me some feedback, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.